Okay, so now I'm reading the 28, uh, this list of 28 reasons that Kentucky is the weirdest state in the country. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. There are several uh, ones that I've already addressed in the last video. There's a man that was forced to eat his own beard. Uh, there's a man that was charged with a DUI while drunk on a horse. Um, some guy breaks into a firehouse and jerks off on the fireman's clothes. <laughs> there's a, a man in Louisville who stole $500 worth of Red Bulls and shoved it into his pants. A uh, Kentucky man duct tapes mom as nuns for a trip to Africa. Weird looking dude, looks like a woman. Uh, but February 14th, so happy Valentine's Day, mom. <laughs> 2013. He duct tapes her and he tries to flee off to Africa. Um, number six, Kentucky man wraps head in duct tape as a disguise for attempted robbery. Um, October 14, 2007. Kentucky man arrested after cops spot him setting fireworks off in the back of his moped. Uh, July 2nd, 2011. By Nina Mendel, Daily News staff writer. Number eight. Kentucky man discovers the cause of lesbianism, basketball. So attention biologists, geneticists, and other scientists looking for the cause of homosexuality may not turn your attention to other research. Kentucky man Jay Collins discovered the origin of gayness, at least in women. Basketball. Uh, number 10, man accused of burning Lexington art sculpture to stay warm. It's kind of sad. Kentucky man goes on a rampage after egg breakfast so that he actually kills, I think he kills his wife and himself because she didn't cook the egg right or some, some stupid shit. Um, doesn't say the date on it. Number 12, drunk high dad leaves baby in the oven. Overnight, police say, March 16, 2010, the oven wasn't on, the baby's okay, uh, the oven door was slightly ajar, and, uh, yeah, so, he put his five-week-old son in the oven Sunday and left him there overnight. Kentucky man sets cockroach record. Travis Fessler of Florence, Kentucky, breaks the world record of putting the most Madagascar hissing cockroaches in his mouth. Eleven. <laughs> so, there's another uh, notable, dubious distinction for Kentuckians everywhere. Kentuckians hold the world record for shoving the most Madagascar hissing cockroaches in your mouth. Burglary suspect caught chocolate handed. <laughs> Number 14, Neon, Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky man's face a charge after being found in a grocery store covered in chocolate, peanut butter, and little else. <laughs> Kentucky State Trooper D.B. White said a manager of the Food World IGA in Neon arrived at work last week to find 22 year old Andrew Allen Michael Toothman wearing only the confections and a pair of black boots. 15, Danny Halfley, Kentucky man defends watermelon eating Obama display, saying that he might get hungry. It's 12 27, 2012, Huffington Post by Nick Wing. Kentucky man sues doctor for amputating his penis. Uh, Frankfurt, Kentucky, September 11th of last year. Kentucky man did not consent to have his penis am amputated, and the doctor performed the surgery at had options other than removing the organ even though cancer had been found during the surgery an attorney argued Tuesday to the Kentucky Court of Appeals Kevin George a lawyer for Philip Seaton of Wadi told the appeals panel that the medical da, 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 da. so doctor finds cancer I guess the dude's knocked out or whatever thinks he's gonna go ahead and just save him the, you know the effort of having to ask for consent and just lops his dick off uh, might have been the only, you know, uh, solution he had thought. That's why they're saying that there was other, you know, other possible ways of doing it. Kentucky man admits he fakes handicap while begging for cash. February 26, 2013, Lexington. Uh, number 18, man accused of DUI while driving tractor. Hickman, Kentucky, man arrested for driving under the influence. So driving drunk on a tractor, driving drunk on a horse. 
There's any anything you can't stop a Kentucky for getting their drink on. Number one for binge drinking for the most amount of days. <laughs> most consistent binge drinkers, you know, over over a span of days. Um, yeah, so he ran through the stop signs before he was stopped. Uh, the Kentucky Goblins have returned. There's pictures. Number 20, Kentucky man tells cops his marijuana plants were burglarized by Steve Elliott. Uh, May 21, 2012, police responded to a Kentucky crime scene call early Friday morning. Were greeted by a man who claimed his marijuana plants were being burglarized. According to an arrest report from the Louisville Police Department, 911 dispatchers took a call asking police to come to an address on St. Joseph Avenue, but the call got disconnected. Reports WDRB. When the cops got there, they found Stephen Byerly, 51, who told them he caught two guys in his house who then burglarized his marijuana plants. Byerly gave the officers consent to search his home, upon which they found 10 marijuana plants growing in the basement. The cops said they also found a sophisticated irrigation, lighting, and ventilation system. So, damn, dude called, got, you know, freaked out. The way he should have, <laughs> you know, gone. But it does suck for him, you know, actually in that position because, um, you know, so you got uh, Stephen Byerly, right? So Stephen Byerly, 51 years old, he's uh, this marijuana um, grower. He's growing all these plants. And I guess somebody finds out about him, breaks in, tries to take his plants. And when they try to take his plants, um, you know, someone broke in his house or stealing his shit, so he's trying to defend his home, trying to get his shit back. And he, I guess he called the police, um, uh, which, which is stupid. And, but it does show you the, you know, what the war on drugs forces people to do. You know, the war on drugs, it allows crime to happen, um, you know, to people like Stephen uh, Byerly, who is doing nothing wrong. He's raising plants in his house. He ain't doing anything wrong. Someone broke into his house, tried to steal his shit, and then he calls the police instead of them finding who stole his shit, you know, who's the burglars. Not only are they, you know, got a marijuana plant, which is illegal, but they're also burglars. They're breaking into other people's houses. Uh, the castle law says you could shoot somebody that tries to break in your house. So you got, you know, burglars breaking in people's houses, and you got this peaceful man just raising a couple plants. So it's uh, it's ridiculous. There's a uh, there's one gentleman I was talking to in Glencoe, Kentucky, and he had said that he robbed some people of of their drugs, is what he told me. And um, when he told me this, he said that uh, he was like, "Yeah, of course I did. What are they going to do? Call the police?" And what could they do? They couldn't call the police. So if we you know, legalized it, it'd be regulated, be out in the open, and these type of, um, you know, uh, uh, underworld uh, criminal activity wouldn't happen. Uh, it should be fair, right? It should be fair, like alcohol. I mean, that'd be bullshit if I had a case of alcohol, someone bust in, steals half of my alcohol, and then when I call the police about them stealing my alcohol, they take me to jail, and then they take the rest of my alcohol. Like, that would be, <laughs> that's bullshit. And if someone broke in and stole my shit. So, 21, a Kentucky man tried to use a fake $1 million bill at a Walmart. <laughs> it's got the Statue of Liberty, the, her face on it. A one million dollar bill, the United States of America, and God we trust. It looks pretty, pretty legit. Like it's green, right color green. Uh, January second, two thousand and twelve. There's another man at a uh, Walmart. There's a constable shot a, a, a you know attempted shoplifter. Um, and then the, the whole what is a constable? What powers do they have? They're actually elected officers, so they have more uh, legitimacy in society than any police officer out there, except for the sheriff. The sheriff's elected, and the constables are elected, and the constables are the sheriffs in their own district. The, the sheriff controls the whole county, constable controls their district. Um, but he eventually pleaded out something, you know. 22, Kentucky man offers a $1,000 reward in Ellie Weasel Tattoo Challenge at Weasel Xavier University May 6th speech. I don't even know what that means. Uh, tattoo Challenge. Carolyn Yeager, May 2nd, 6.30 p.m. 
LAWeaselTattoo.com. 23, Kentucky man arrested for allegedly stealing 700-pound barrel vault evading cops in high high-speed chase. Gilbert Strode, 52, is charged with wanton endangerment, fleeing or evading police, speeding and receiving stolen property. The barrel vault was replaced in time for the funeral at St. Augustine Cemetery by Michael Walsh. So he's just stealing burial grounds, barrel vault, 700. How did he get a 700 pound barrel vault? He had to have like some sort of equipment, man. He, he didn't lift that. He did not slump that on his back. Number 24, Kentucky man invents car that runs on bourbon. Uh, April 14, 2011. <laughs> no way. So there's a car. Uh, inventor Nilsson shows off his bourbon-powered car. Nilsson. Kentucky was the uh, home of the radio. The first radio was invented in Kentucky. Uh... Southern Robert Stubblefield. Nathan Stubblefield. Number 25, Kentucky man says VA treatment caused frost, uh, frostbitten penis. So another, another dick story. October 2nd, 2012. Uh, 26, Kentucky man motorizes living room table. Tim Francis of Lexington, Kentucky, made a couch and coffee table to an electric golf cart frame so he could cruise his neighborhood. It's like Inception set on the dreams of a Lexus suspension engineer. <laughs> Number 27, Kentucky man charged with reckless driving in wheelchair in Gar Garrard County. It says Grand, but there is no Grand. Garrard County, a Kentucky man has been charged with reckless driving in his wheelchair, ordered to pay a $20 fine <laughs> in court costs. Omer Portwood was cited for driving his power chair in the road. He says he had no choice because there's no sidewalk. A Garrard County judge ruled Portwood was guilty of breaking the pedestrian code. He's been told not to drive his chair in the street anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? There's no sidewalk. How the fuck is he supposed to get it by? That's, that's a bullshit fucking ruling. He should fucking sue their fucking asses. They should have a sidewalk for him to be able to, to safely cross. You know, if you're in a wheelchair, does that mean you can't, you know, uh, uh, exist in Garrard County? You ain't allowed to exist in Garrard County if you're in a wheelchair. 28, I guess that's the last reason. Yeah, and so number 28. Dun, 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 dun. A man's pushing a giant globe, walks across East Texas for diabetes awareness. Uh, East Texas motorist driving along Highway 69 South near Huntington could not help but notice Eric Bindle pushing his six foot, eighty pound inflatable globe. Bindle is walking across East Texas in the name of diabetes awareness. Over the past five years, he has walked in 34 states, over 4,000 miles on trips lasting from two to five months at a time. His dog Nice has been at his side for every trip. This is my sixth walk for diabetes. I left Seminole, Alabama, on the 11th of, of January. I walked across Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Said Bindle. Bindle said he crossed into the Lone Star State through Orange. He made it to Huntington on Thursday in his latest blog at worldguide.org. He writes, the rainy weather may keep us here in Huntington for the weekend. I have until mid-April to get to Dallas, barring some unforeseen issue that would have me stop early. He has certainly gained a lot of attention. I hope to be an example to people that if I can push an 80-pound ball, walking an 80-pound dog, carrying a backpack over a hill and down through ditches and wind and rain that might be to go out and be actively every day walking a mile. <laughs> okay. Well, that was not a very good, exciting last story. Um, there's actually more crazier shit. There's a five-year-old that shot a two-year-old that happened in Kentucky. Um, some of these, uh, stories do remind me. Yeah, that constable thing, there's a, a shoplifter, and you got this cop shooting at a shoplifter, right? So that's crazy in of itself. Um, I think in, um, Bowling Green or Innsburg, they shot and killed a homeless dude down there. Um, I mean, let's see, what else? Kentucky. Let's just... Let's just say, go to news, Kentucky news. Uh, recently, there's poverty rates just came out. There's a, it was increased 20% of Kentucky are poor, so one out of five people in Kentucky are poor. Uh, Kentucky nerve gas arms. We have sarin gas here in Kentucky. We're about to invade Syria because they got sarin gas. They use sarin gas against their own people. 
and uh, they actually have um, sarin gas here in Kentucky. So they have sarin gas in Kentucky. <laughs> so they might invade us. They might tell us we have to get rid of our chemical weapons too, or else we're going to be invaded. Be another another civil war. We have to pass Kentucky re resolutions. We have to fight. You know, um, let's let's immediately actually stand up against. Well, Kentucky did, but we 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 took the Confederacy side after <laughs> we we won the Civil War, and then we sided with the losers, because you know we're fucking Kentucky. That's that's what we do.